Hello everybody, my name is Blonde Simpai and welcome back to Star Citizen. I'm back again with the Vanguard Warden, but you may notice there's something different about it. And that is, I put a new gun under the nose. So this is a brand new gun. Uh, I believe it just came out not too long ago. I think with uh, 2.5 release. I could be wrong about that, but I think it just came out. So, uh, And this is the M7A laser cannon so it is gigantic it is a size 5 weapon so remember uh the gun that came on here was on a gimbal and so it was a size 4 uh and it was a gatling gun so this is actually a laser and it matches up a little bit better uh with these mvsa laser cannons which are still uh quite a bit faster than this but uh, the pips should line up a little bit better so I'm gonna take this into Vandal Swarm and uh, we'll see how much better this gun is over that size 4 Gatling gun that came on it all right so here I am in Vandal Swarm so as you can see down below on the HUD it's very hard to see, um, but you can see it is a laser weapon, so there is no uh, ammo to it, which is a very good thing. So that's important, because I uh, remember the Gatling gun had ammo, and so you had to conserve that a little bit. So this we don't have to worry about conserving at all, and holy shit, the damage is real. Okay, so I just hit him once. Uh, probably in the cockpit because it was a pretty center shot. And that was uh, one squeeze of the trigger of both the small lasers and the M7A. So it was a combination still, but it was still one trigger pull. We'll see, uh, see if that trend continues. I'm also kind of curious what uh, how long it takes to overheat. This gun. So I will be testing that as well here. But I'm just using the M7A on this guy. And I'll I'll do it the same for probably the rest of this wave, just use the M7A. So two shots on that guy, knocked him down. Two shots on that guy. These guys are all just right in close, waiting for me to kill them. Okay, so that's taking... This guy's taking a few shots already. So it's got, definitely got to be in a more vulnerable area, it seems like. But, alright, so I took him out as well. I'm already on wave three, so this is going by pretty quick here. Contact. Elite units. Uh, I really want to see how long it takes to overheat, so I'm just gonna rapid fire off into the distance here, and we'll see. Looks like on my HUD, it's just barely starting to get some heat into it now. Still shooting away at it. I think I might even just keep shooting with it. I still haven't let go when I started firing. I'm not really sure how many seconds it is because the, the clock isn't working for some reason in Vandal's form. But if you look down on my ship's display, it's at roughly halfway to overheated. So, this will go on for a while, I think, still. It's not a fast, that fast of a firing weapon. Um, but it hits hard. Ooh, just ran into his debris there. Uh, it definitely hits hard, so. And with a combination of this with the small lasers, it should be pretty deadly. I'm having a horrible aiming problem right now. 
Mostly just because I'm more focused on holding this button down, see how long it takes to overheat this thing. It is still going. There we go. Just now I got the warning, so. That's pretty crazy. Uh, we'll see how fast it goes down. Looks like it's at about half right now. And now it's all the way down. So, wow, that takes a long time to overheat. That's pretty crazy. I'm not sure if... Uh, this gun is gonna need them tweaking. It seems like it might be a little overpowered right now. Considering it takes that long to overheat. And, uh, as strong as it is, uh, the only gun I believe that does more damage to it in the size 5 category is the Wrath Cannon, uh, which is on the Glaive. And I think it might be on the Scythe, but it's definitely on the Glaive. It's the two that are on the wings. Um,. Those are Wrath Cannons. I think those are the only size 5s that are stronger than the M7A. So, it is an insanely strong weapon. Uh, and remember, the Wrath Cannon also overheated somewhat quickly. Yeah, I mean, the pips are definitely spread apart a little bit. Uh, when you're getting close, it's not going to matter because they're... They're close enough, but at range, you're going to definitely notice that uh, they're not probably going to be on the target at the same time. So that is definitely something to consider. But remember that the, uh, the Gatling gun was even further apart. So at least this is starting to get close. And this is definitely more usable, I would say. Uh, it definitely does a lot more damage than the Gatling Gun did. So, I remember firing on a target for quite a while with the Gatling Gun without getting a kill. But this this gun, it seems like I, I'm not really going to have to fire that much as long as I hit him in a vulnerable spot. And with the little lasers, it's just not going to take long at all regardless of where I hit them. I think it's pretty clear that M7A is a pretty crazy gun. It seems like this particular loadout, um, there's a couple different ways you can go about it. You can either keep rapid fire with the small lasers, and then just every once in a while, when you know you have the target in sights, uh, and the pip is on them, you can pull the M7A. Um, or you can just kind of single shot both or uh, all the guns at once that seems to work as well like that this definitely seems to suit the vanguard warden pretty well though it's definitely uh, definitely a better loadout than the stock that is for sure and it's pretty fun. Shoot, my shields are going down a little bit now. Wasn't really dodging fire too much, but yeah, this uh, this damage is pretty crazy. So we got wave six here, so let's try to get at the elite unit right away. Ah, oh, you spawned pretty close to me too. So this is using all my weapons, but he is not doing good already. I'm not doing good either, so we'll see if I can kill him first. Oh, he's just, there he goes, now he's dead. <laughs> just before I died, I got him. My shields were uh, pretty weak and my hull was already in the red though, so... I knew I wasn't going to last too much longer with that. So the M7A, definitely, definitely suggest it if you have a uh, size 5 mount. There's uh, really nothing better other than the Wrath Cannon, which I don't think you can even take off of like a glaive and put it on something else. I'm pretty sure it's 
exist only on the glaive and only will ever be on the glaive. Um, and maybe, like I said, it might be on the scythe as well. I can't remember what uh, what big gun that is. But this is pretty insane. So I highly suggest it, uh, especially if you have a Vanguard. It seems to work really well with the uh, the lasers on there already. So. And that's pretty much where I'm going to end this video then. Uh, I just really want to show you that guys that. So I had a couple requests to show off this this gun. So I hope uh, I hope I did it justice. Hopefully my aim wasn't that bad with it. Um, so if you guys like this video, please leave a like down below. Uh, leave a comment. What do you think of the M7A laser cannon and this loadout in general? And. Uh, while you're here, make sure you subscribe because I upload videos every single day. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.